you can see me. Um, I thought I'd come to you guys while I was driving. I can be a little louder now since um, I've worked. <laughs> but um, I, I wanted to come and do a quick video just to show you that you can be versatile with natural hair. I'm sure everybody knows that. But this is a wig that my mother-in-law bought me. Now, she bought me two wigs. She bought me a wig that I wore before in another video, which was the Beyonce wig. And now this wig, is name is Maggie. Now, let me see if I can get in the sun so you can see her. It's synthetic. It's a number four. Um... I don't really care for the wig, actually. I don't like shiny wigs, number one. No, you don't like, really want your wig to be shiny. Who wants a shiny wig? Anyway, so I don't really like that, the fact that it's shiny. The second part is that it has this hump on the top. Now, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. These are cheap wigs have a hump on the top. I don't know if it's cheap. I'm just saying some wigs have this hump, like in the top. Look like a little bump. And I'm like, ugh. But then, uh, you know, I think about some people like actually put stuff in their hair to get that bump so that their hair looks forward in the crown area. So, I don't know. But I got like rave reviews at once. Everyone's like, oh, that is such a cute wig. What's that wig's name? And Blah, blah, blah. Okay, her name is Maggie. Now, I think my mother-in-law got this wig out of a catalog. Um, you know how you order out of those catalogs? My mother-in-law is a um, breast cancer survivor. TYJ. And so, um, you know how they send them those books, you know, wig books, you know, because they lose their hair when they have cancer treatment, you know, they have the, the treatment. Anyway, so... I think that's where she ordered this wig from. But she did mention she bought the other one at the beauty supply, the Beyonce at the beauty supply. She had them cut the lace off the front and everything. So, but this one she didn't mention where she got it from. So I think this came from a cancer hair book or whatever. I mean, I don't. I'm not mad or nothing like that. I mean, I just have never worn it. I didn't have it for a minute. It's been in the drawer, just in the bag, in the drawer. And I keep looking at it. I keep pulling out and looking at it like, ugh, and putting it back. But today, I say, you know what, I'm going to wear it because I really want to know what my hair looks like this color. Like, what it looks like, what will look like against my skin tone. Because <clears throat> I used to wear wigs this color, but it's been so long. It's been about four years since I've worn a wig, a wig like really this color. Because I always brush out the burgundies, reds, and hardly any... Woo! Woo! <coughs> Off the train! Y'all hear that? I almost ran in the back of this car! The wheel should stop! Woo! Like my back's going out! Mm-mm. I'm gonna have to holler at y'all later.